So what similarities and differences are there between being a developer or administrator for a transactional database versus an analytical database? What do you do differently between those two? The concepts of how the database engine works is similar, but if you think about how the big differentiator between transactional and analytical is that transactional queries tend to be short and quick, like they're point queries. They're diving in and getting a relatively few number of rows. Insert this shopping cart. Select this shopping cart. Pro update this order. Show me my orders. Then over on the analytical side, queries tend to be long ranging and operate over large numbers of rows. They tend to take longer. In analytical systems, or anal over here I suppose, analytical systems, people will complain if the query takes 20, 30, 40 seconds. Over on production uh, uh, transactional systems, if something takes five seconds, it can often be catastrophic, like bring the site down kind of catastrophic. So those two differences between the two, tiny number of rows versus working on large number of rows, there are different skills in how you work with the people who write those queries. There are different ways that you tune those queries. For example, you could consider using column store indexes in analytical systems, whereas it wouldn't really make sense in transactional systems because you generally don't need them because you're operating on small numbers of rows. So right about now, too, as I, as I explain that, somebody out in comments is going, but we run big reports on our transactional systems, too. I, I, I have to do both. Yes, absolutely. You're not the only one out there, delicate flower. There are lots of people who do that. That's how kind of business works there.